Well, we're on our way to the track, to Mohawk. We never, as a family, I just said, I just started this video a minute ago and had to stop. I don't think we've ever gone to the races as a family and just said, hey, we're going to get in the car and go to the races. This is the first time ever the McDonald's have just ventured out to watch racing. I, it's embarrassing to say, but it's true. We're always on the go, going somewhere. We have to go to the races. I have to race. Right? Or we have to, Amy has to take care of a horse that's in today, or I have to go to Ohio or Pennsylvania. We've never actually just made a conscious decision to get in the car and go to the track and watch the race. Yes, we have horses in today, and good luck to J.K. Mickey Mantle's ownership group and and um, stay closest and Dipper tonight in Ohio, but this is the first time we've ever just gone and watched. So, pretty cool. It's a different feeling, for sure, to just go and watch the races. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Obviously, what is going to take be front and center over the next few days is, uh, well, the storyline for today was Locatelli did get in to go at the Meadows. He will be in to go, so now we have to get him to the Meadows. The issue being, no one is shipping this time of year, so we really have to work hard to get the horses shipped there. Both him and HP Maestro have to be shipped to... Um, to Ohio and Pennsylvania, so we'll get that done one way or another. I will, I will uh, rest assured we'll get it all done. Next is, and I guess the biggest, the biggest storyline of the entire week since Christmas will be the auction that we put together. Now, I did, I have thought about having an auction for a long time. We had a lot of clients that have messaged me over, um, well, really a number of months saying, "Would you ever consider having an auction? Would you ever consider?" Originally, my answer was no because we have the back end of our site. But the back end of our site is not open to the general public. People can't go in there and buy shares. They can't be offered up. They're not allowed in there unless they are clients of ours. So how do we allow people to look at what, what we have for sale at the same time continuing to keep our site private? And this is the easiest way to do it. Now, a couple little, couple little hurdles we have, to, uh, we have to get over. The first one is the time frame. I know that, that David Reed closes um, closes the preferred online sale entry forms on Friday, or on Wednesday, and on Friday they're ready. But that's like 30 to 40 horses max. We're going to have well over 100 items up for sale, which means they have to be loaded. And when we're bundling horses into these packages of, you know, 2% of this horse, 1% of that horse, 4% of that horse, or regardless of what it is, how do we do that? How do we mention them all pri properly to allow people to know you are getting 2% of this horse, 1% of this horse, and so on and so forth. So that all has to be done. I, I thought the best way to do it would be by, by video like this, but they're not all in yet. So I have to spend tomorrow morning doing that. And then, of course, they all have to be uploaded on the site. So David said, we probably should have it ready Wednesday. Well, the sale's Thursday. It was my fault. You know, if we were really worried about attracting new people to the industry, I guess we could have given it a week or 10 days. But this was originally made for you. Just something a little different. A little more public for people to see it take place. I didn't really care if anybody from the outside the industry bought into the horse. And people might say, well, Anthony, isn't that what the, the stable's about? Yes, it is. But the stable.ca is meant to bring new people into the industry. People back into the industry. People that may not watch the preferred sale or on gate. People that may not know the current headlines of horse racing. That's the people we're trying to get involved, but having said that, there's probably lots of people inside the industry that may want to buy 1% of a horse or two. So to do it properly, at least give it the best option we can, we would have to push the sale date back one day, right? Just push it 24 hours. That allows David Reed an opportunity to get those up. If they're up on Wednesday morning, the sale doesn't start until Friday afternoon. They can market and advertise it. We can on social media. We can do a few videos about it, some tutorials, allowing people to understand exactly what is taking place. I think that's the best thing to do. The last thing I want to do is have the sale come off as a dumpster fire, right? Have the sale come off as, oh, people in the stable trying to dump shares into the general public because they don't understand that we have a back end or a site. They don't understand that we can buy and sell our horses whenever we want in-house. I just thought this was interesting for us, but I could see the optics also being, oh, they're just trying to dump a bunch of shares into the general public, into, into people in the industry to, you know, to suck them in. And that is not what we're doing. The stable.ca is selling no horses online. The horses that are for sale 
on the stable platform are going to remain for sale on the stable platform and they will not be for sale in the auction. There's no need for, for us to partake in that. As I said, the sale is for you. So I think the best way to do it is to move it back one day to Friday. I talked to Wendy. She was okay with it. She's an incredibly busy weekend ahead of her, but Friday she was okay with it. Kelly is available for Friday also. Dave had said that Friday is fine. Just that extra day. I know there's going to be people like Larry and clients of ours that say, oh, it's just not enough time to do it right. You're partially right. You're right. But there are so many unknowns in what we're trying to accomplish, both us and preferred online sales. There's so many things. This is uncharted territory. And we love being on the forefront of uncharted territory. But at the same token, this is more like a pilot program. Is it going to work? Is it neat? Are there enough aspects of it that we can control and unpack it in a way that people want to absorb it, want to buy it? I don't know. I have no idea. Neither does Dave, neither does Kelly, neither does Wendy, but we're going to find out. We're going to need a rough idea. And maybe if we do do another one of these, maybe we make it an annual thing. Maybe we do it again in two, three months. I don't know. But if we do, we'll know the strengths of the sale. We'll know the weaknesses of the sale. Addie Bear, are you trying to sleep on me? Oh, I'm watching you, girl. We're here now. We're at Mohawk right now. It's over there on the left, over here. You're going to see it in a second when we come out of the trees. So, uh, that's the plan for this week. We're going to push the sale back one day. We're going to allow, we're going to still close the entries on Tuesday. That is absolutely imperative. We're going to close the entries Tuesday at noon. We're going to have them all up for everybody to have a look at Wednesday, whether that be those packages, those bundles I talked about, or whether that be singular shares. You guys are going to get a look at everything. Now, you're going to understand what's going on. The trick will be to explain it to everybody else that is interested. So having the feedback from people that don't or are not a part of a fractional ownership stable. That's right, honey. Or are fractional ownership stable. Then explaining that in a way that makes them comfortable is important also. But again, the, underli the underlying message is still the same. This is our sale. This is for us. It's for you, for me, everybody to look at what's going on and potentially shop during the holidays. So we'll see how the sale plays out. Everything will be up for you guys Wednesday, I, I expect, by late morning or so. David will have everything up uh, for you to have a look at and go through and make some decisions of your own. And I suspect I will spend the remainder of Wednesday uh, answering questions and emails from people in that are not that are not our clients right now. So, And I'm perfectly fine with that. So for all of you, thank you again for being a part of something historic. This is the first time there's ever been a fractional sale of this kind ever. Thank you again for being our, our partners in that. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. We're just getting to Mohawk now. We're going to have a, a good look. There's a race going right now. It looks like it's probably race four. Pulling into the track right now at race four. Going to have a little bite to eat, watch the races, and cheer on J.K. Mickey Mantle and stay close, and as I hope you will also. So, Merry Christmas again. Hope we all have a wonderful finish to the 2022 year and start it with a bang in 2023. Take care.